Hey guys, KSK Ryle here. In this video, I'm going to show you the top 10 best Linux terminal applications of 2021. Now, these terminal applications are my all-time favorite, which must have installed on any Linux distro. Now, all these tools may help to improve the workflow on Linux operating system and make your task easier than ever before. So watch this video until the end without missing anything and experience the power of Linux command line applications and utilities. Let's get started. Now starting with the number one in our list, Tmux. Now Tmux is a terminal multiplexer. It enables to create a many terminals are accessed and controlled from a single screen. Now Tmux may be detached from a screen and continue running in the background. Then later you can reattach. For example, you can create a session that runs a bunch of commands at the same time side by side. Now, I use a Tmux to run these commands all on one screen, like compiling the source code and monitoring the system sources, downloading a file, or even fetching the network speed, all can be done right from the single screen. So to enter into Tmux, you can simply type a Tmux, then press Ctrl plus B, then pressing a percent key as splits the screen horizontally with a brand new workspace. The same way you can press Ctrl plus B, then pressing a double code splits the screen vertically. You can press a Ctrl plus B, then pressing the arrow keys to switch between these workspaces. Now to exit from the workspace, you can simply type exit and that's it. Now to exit from the session or detach from the session, you can press Ctrl plus B and letter D. Now, overall, I would say Tmux is a must-have tool to be installed if you are a powerful Linux user and want to do a multiple things at the same time on a single screen. The next up, we're having a bPython. Now, bPython is the next level Python REPL tool that provides an intelligent suggestions within the terminal application while typing. Now, just like an IDE, the auto suggestions will be shown in regards to what you type. bPython doesn't aim to be a complete IDE. The focus is on implementing a few ideas in practical, useful, and lightweight manner. Now, let's see bPython in action. No, just like Python, just type a bPython to launch the REPL environment. Now then inside, uh, let's import a something. Now as you can see, it provides an auto suggestions to choose from. Now keep in mind, it doesn't let you select with a mouse, but still you can autofill the suggestions by pressing the tab key. Now I would say bPython is more flexible than the vanilla version of the Python interpreter and helps in writing the code more easily. Now next up we're having a CMOS. Now CMOS is a terminal based music player based on N curses. Now you might be wondering why would I need this? Well if you're using a CLI based Linux then this tool is extremely useful to play a music. Now take an example of Raspberry Pi. Now I use a CMOS on my Raspberry Pi which serves as a NAS server for my home and guess what it allows to play music right from the Raspberry Pi which has connected to speakers. Now, it is very easy to use just like a normal audio player you can play pause, stop, and even adjust the volume of an audio file. Now, Seamus is my all-time a powerful uh, favorite a terminal-based music player to play a music on a CLI-based Linux distro.
Now next up we're having a simple HTTP. Now simple HTTP is a tool that quickly helps to share a folder or files in a local network that can be accessed from the browser. Now let me show you how it works. For example, I want to transfer a file from Linux to Android or iPhone via browser. I can simply type simple HTTP with the option and the folder you want to share. Then find the IP address of this computer with if config. Now that's it. Now this folder can be accessed to devices in a local network or HTTP with default port 8080. Now as you can see on my iPhone, I can simply download these files very easily. Now overall I would say simple HTTP quickly asserts a local directory or HTTP. Now next up we're having a NeoFetch. Now NeoFetch is a command line system information tool that displays information about the operating system, software and hardware in an aesthetic and a visually pleasing way. The information by default is displayed alongside your operating system's logo. You can further configure a NeoFetch to instead use an image or an ASCII custom file or your wallpaper or nothing at all. Now next up we're having a coin top. Now coin top is a fast and lightweight interactive terminal based UI application for tracking and monitoring a cryptocurrency coin status in real time. It shows the price statistics of every cryptocurrency out there. Now the interface is inspired by htop and the shortcut keys are inspired by vim. Now next up we're having nload. Now nload is a command line tool to keep an eye on a network traffic and a bandwidth usage in real time. It helps you monitor incoming and outgoing traffic using a graphs and provides an additional information such as the total amount of transfer data and network usage. Now, BPyTop is the ultimate and an incredible command line tool for Linux and Unix-like operating systems. It is the most powerful Linux and Mac OS command tool that shows the running processes, system usage, CPU status, memory information, and network speeds in real time. Now, BPyTop is a modern, robust system monitoring utility that is much better than BashTop and gives a visual representation of the system statistics with customizability. So if you're a Linux user, then definitely you have to set up a tool on your computer. Now next up we're having ARIA2. Now ARIA2 is my all-time favorite a download manager that supports a multiple downloads at the same time. Now you can also pause and resume the file without re-downloading. Now this tool supports downloading files or HTTP and different protocols like FTP, SMB and more. Also you can use a torrent magnetic link to download the file hassle free. Overall I would say ARIA2 is a Linux based download manager which works the same way as the internet download manager for Windows.
Next up, speed test CLI. Now, speed test CLI quickly lets you check the speed of your internet connection. This is a one handy command line tool that every Linux user must have to find the speed of their internet connection. You can simply type speed test and pressing the return key will execute the command and start finding the speed of the internet connection. Now as a bonus part of the video, we're having a map sky. Now map sky is an ASCII based world map. We can use our pointer to drag and zoom in or zoom out a location anywhere on the world map. Now map sky is an example of ASCII art software. It is a graphic design technique that relies primarily on computers for presentation and consists of pictures put together from characters defined by the ASCII. Now overall I would say it's a fun to look through the world map using a terminal. And that's pretty much it. These are the top 10 best Linux terminal applications of 2021 that you must try. So let me know which one is your favorite in the comment section down below. Now, if in case you like this video, show the support and help me in reaching 100k subscribers. And thanks for watching this video. It's been KSKRIL. I will see you in my next one.